Hey guys, it's Cobalt here, and welcome back to another video. This is going to be the last uh, Customs for Sale video before I return back to my house. Uh, basically, the semester is almost over, so I'm doing finals right now and shit, but I managed to finish these customs, and I'm very excited to show them to you. So if you could buy any customs from this video, whether they're old or new, it would really help me out a lot so that I don't have to worry about any of them getting damaged when I move back home. Without further ado, let's get right on into it. As always, we'll be starting with the old customs. This is Horror from Beastars. Then we have this jack-o'-lantern cocker spaniel this baby zombie mouse this sea dragon toy bonnie from five nights at freddy's this lps fairy partial ivory paint this bull terrier this little head swap dog this dog which is also a head swap and finally this ivory paint cocker spaniel who also has this hair that i added on with clay as you can tell there are still a lot of really old customs that i have for sale so if you could buy any of these guys it would help me out a ton all of their prices have been reduced so some of them are actually pretty cheap right now so if you're interested in any of them please go check them out links in the description down below and now let's get on to the four new customs. All right, so here is the first custom. It is a very special custom. This is a glass eye custom. I did not make these glass eyes. They were actually made by Owl Talon Customs. Definitely go check her out. She always makes a lot of glass eyes. But I got this glass eye base from her uh, a, a while ago, maybe about a year, a year and a half. And uh, I just hadn't done anything with this base. So I finally decided to paint it. Um, so again, did not make the eyes, but they're very cool. There's a blue one and a brown one, and they got little like shiny stuff and stars in them. I sculpted this collar, and then I added a little star on it to match the eyes. And then I also sculpted this curly hair. And other than that, it's just a brown dog with lots of freckles. I think the design is very cute. And it also has these blue paw pads that match the color of the collar. And the collar has this uh, metallic copper part. The next custom is another brown dog. This time it is a dachshund. It also has some hair and a collar that I sculpted. This collar has a heart on it. Um, and it's just a lot of gray and brown colors and blue colors. It's got blue eyes and a blue nose that match the color of the collar. It's just a bunch of like random spots and a random design. Forgot to mention I also sculpted this little tail and it's uh you know it's just a random design that I came up with with a bunch of random paint colors so and I also totally forgot I sculpted this fluff on the cheeks. The next custom is another Great Dane. This is probably the most interesting custom in this video. It was for the Ruffled Feather Studio collab on Instagram which is a collaboration account run by Hello Studios. Uh, so the theme for this time was Circus, and I created this guy. He is inspired by a wasp, uh, so he's like this little circus wasp dog dinosaur, I don't know. But his design is inspired by a wasp, that's why he's yellow and black. But he also has like this freaking dinosaur tail and spikes, and then he has clown shoes and this ruffled collar. Um, but I think it looks really cool. I Hopefully all of the horns don't break off, I, I managed to secure them pretty well. But he has... Like four horns on his face, plus like these horned eyebrows. I love the eyes, I think they look super cool. So I sculpted all the horns, obviously. I sculpted uh, his little new chin shape. I sculpted the tail, the feet, the spikes, and the uh, the ruffled thingy, the ruffled collar, and the uh, little buttons that ha he has on him. I think his design is very cool. I really, really like this custom, so I'm a bit sad to be selling it. There's still a bit of Mod Podge drying on him as well, but I really hope that you guys like this one, and I hope that he finds a really good home. All of his horns, of course, are shiny, and so are his eyes and his nose and all that jazz. And the final custom is not my original design. This is the character V from the Owl House. She's so cute. I've had this idea to make this custom for a really long time, at least ever since season two came out, and I was like, oh, this character is adorable. I think that she would work really well as a custom made from a seal base. So I finally did it. I've been procrastinating on this custom for such a long time. But she finally exists, and she's adorable. Look at her little face. I think that she turned out so cute, and I love how well I was able to match the colors. Again, there's still a bit of Mod Podge drying. Um, there's a couple details on her that I, like, didn't add. I know she has some extra fins, some extra hair, but I, I didn't add that. But, uh, what I did add, I sculpted her hair, obviously. I sculpted the ears and, like, these little fin parts that she has, and I sculpted her... Uh, the, the tip of her tail to add the fins on those as well. But other than that, everything is just your typical seal LPS base. I think she looks super cute. 
If you guys are Owl House fans, this will be the perfect custom for you to buy, and in the future I would definitely like to make more, especially a custom of King, because I think that he would also look adorable as a custom. Alright, so those are all the customs I have to show in this video. Once again, as I previously mentioned, any customs that sell will be greatly appreciated, just because I'm trying to get rid of them so I don't have to worry about damaging any of them when I move back, because the semester of this year uh, at school is almost over, and I go to school in a different state than where I live. But anyways, I hope you guys like these four new customs, I really like them, I think they're very cute, uh, and yeah, I appreciate all of your ongoing support, and I will have more videos for you really, really soon, because it's almost summer, and I'll finally get back to, you know, making content for this channel. So I hope you guys are excited, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!